Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to review the Wise Smart Thermostat. So I've had this installed for about two weeks, and the reason that I got this Wise Thermostat to test out is because I got so many comments from my other thermostat videos about the Wise Thermostat, people wanting to know about it or how to install it, and because this is one of the least expensive smart thermostats out there, so I had to see for myself how it worked how it compared to other smart thermostats like the Nest and Ecobee thermostats, and if it's a viable option as a smart thermostat. So in the two weeks that I've had this installed, I will say that it has been reliable in terms of controlling the temperature. So you just rotate this dial and you can control the temperature to heat or cool or turn this up or down. So it's a pretty easy to use interface. I like it, it's very similar to the Nest thermostats or the older Nest thermostats where you just rotate a dial to dial in the temperature. So I like that simplicity and the temperature shows up big and bright on the screen. Now, once you click on the Wise thermostat, that's when you can go into some of the other settings and modes here. And on the thermostat itself, you can change between heating, cooling, and auto mode or off mode. The auto mode allows you to set a range of temperatures for heating and cooling, and it will automatically decide either heating or cooling for your HVAC system. Now, you've also got fan control in here. You can have the fan run for a scheduled amount of time per hour. You can have the fan automatically run whenever your HVAC system turns on, or you can turn on the fan whenever you want to run for a continuous amount of time. Now, on the physical thermostat itself, there are not a lot of settings. You've got your temperature mode, and then you can go to state here, and you can choose between home, away, or sleep. So this is a very similar interface to what you have for Ecobee. They use those three state designations, home, away, and sleep. And those are just temperature set points that are designed to save you energy when you're away from your house, make you more comfortable when you're sleeping, or make you more comfortable when you're at home during the day. So if you like to sleep a little bit cooler, that's what the sleep setting is for. It turns down your HVAC temperature there, or you could sleep a little bit warmer if you wanted. Now we're going into the settings menu and you've got a system test. So you can test your HVAC system. You can reset everything if you want to. You can look at the device info or you can even lock the thermostat if you need to. So that is pretty much the extent of the settings that you have on the thermostat. They keep it simple on the thermostat. Now, once you go into the WISE app, you can set schedules, you can set settings to help you save energy. So it's got a motion sensor in here, an occupancy sensor, and that occupancy sensor is designed to detect when you are home or away. And with those settings within the WISE, it can help you save energy, just like an Ecobee or Nest thermostat would using the programming interface on the WISE app. So the WISE thermostat itself doesn't have maybe as much built-in features to the actual thermostat, but instead WISE has chosen to do all the computing and calculations in the cloud, which I assume is what decreases the cost of this device when compared to, let's say, a Nest or an Ecobee thermostat, because I picked this up for, I think, under $70. So this is about half the cost of even the lowest end Nest or Ecobee thermostat, but has the majority of the same features as those higher end thermostats. So the question really comes down to how does it compare to those and has it been reliable? So in my experience, the WISE has been very reliable. It's done a great job heating and cooling my home. I haven't had any issues with that. It has used all of the settings that I've input and whenever I've had a schedule, it goes on at that preset or scheduled time. So I haven't had any issues with that. Now, installation was also fairly simple. It took me about 20 to 30 minutes to get this installed. But one thing you should note when installing the WISE thermostat is that it does require a common wire or the use of a common wire adapter. So in my system, I had an extra common wire that I was able to connect to the thermostat and down at the HVAC system, so I didn't need the common wire adapter. Now, if you have a four wire system with heating, cooling, a fan, and power, 
you can still use the wireless thermostat without a common wire, but you have to install a common wire adapter. In installing that common wire adapter, it means that you need to go down to your HVAC system and install the adapter inside of the wiring on your HVAC system. So not everybody is comfortable doing that, but some of you are. It's a very similar process to installing a common wire adapter on the Ecobee thermostat, which also requires a common wire. Now, most smart thermostats do require a common wire or a common wire adapter. Now, the exception to that is the Nest Generation 3 smart thermostat or the Nest E thermostat. Both of those don't typically require a common wire, but in some cases it will be required. And you may wonder what a common wire is or why I've talked so much about it. And the reason I'm spending so much time on it is because if you're selecting a smart thermostat, I want it to be able to work for you. A common wire allows your smart thermostat to continually charge so that it can connect to Wi-Fi and work properly. Now, some thermostats are designed where they don't need that common wire for continual charging, the Nest E and Nest third generation. Other smart thermostats like the Ecobee, like the Wise, or even the latest generation of the Nest thermostat, the Nest 2020 version, all require a common wire for proper operation or a common wire adapter, which is what the Wise requires if you don't have a common wire, and that will allow the thermostat to charge up, and you can use that common wire adapter if you have a four wire system for your thermostat, and it's going to allow you to continually charge and the thermostat will operate properly. So if you wanna see a video on how to install the WISE thermostat, we've got the link below in the description. So go ahead and click on that and it will show you how to install this with a common wire and we're going to do a video on how to install it if you don't have a common wire with a common wire adapter. Now there is another option if you don't have a common wire or a common wire adapter, even though the Y ships with a common wire adapter. If you have a G wire or a fan wire, typically you can use that as a common wire if you do some work down in your HVAC system and up here to replace it as a terminal, but you will lose fan control. So you could have your G wire on the C terminal here on the thermostat and the C terminal down in your HVAC system. We have a whole video that explains this for other styles of thermostats. So I recommend taking a look in the description below if you wanna learn more about that. But in terms of the WISE thermostat, my experience has been very positive. It has the majority of the same features as Nest and Ecobee and is simple to use, but it comes in at half the price of its competitors. Now, even though so far my experience has been great with the WISE thermostat, there is one negative that I noticed. Since this is a newer smart thermostat, the software can be a little glitchy. And what I mean by that is that I installed this on an Android phone and it would constantly ask me to keep updating the software every time I opened up the Android app. And it looks like there is a bug in the software that will continually ask you that question, but it would never let me update on my Android phone. So I switched over to an iPhone, installed the app, and I was able to update the Wise thermostat and the app with no problems. And then that notification never showed up on the Android app or Android phone again. And I think it's because there's so many different versions of Android operating systems versus with Apple, there are less variations of iOS. So it's easier to program in that. Now the problem was solved as soon as I did that update and even without the update, the Android app worked with all the features. I didn't have any issues using the smart thermostat, but it was just annoying and frustrating that every time I would open the app, I would get this little pop-up. And I did even look in some of the notifications and it said that was a bug that Wise was trying to correct or fix. So right now it's the end of March in 2021. I hope Wise corrects that and maybe if they can tweak their software a little bit to get some of those bugs out, that would be great because that was the only issue I had with the Wise thermostat as I was using it. So it's a little bit less polished than some of the competing smart thermostats, but for the most part, it has all the same features as those other smart thermostats. 
Now, there are a couple things that you may miss out on with the Wise Thermostat if you go with it in comparison to Nest or Ecobee. If you wanna participate in a demand response program like Nest Rush Hour Rewards, there isn't currently a utility program that I've seen set up for the Wise Smart Thermostats. That doesn't mean that it won't happen in the future. But in some areas, having those demand response programs with your smart thermostat can create significant incentives or savings during high electricity use times for heating or cooling. So just something to consider there. Now, in terms of compatibility, the WISE thermostat is going to need at least two wires plus a C wire. So in my experience, I had five wires installed and I just have a traditional HVAC system where I've got a gas fired furnace with a forced air blower and an air conditioner outside. Now the WISE thermostat will work with boilers if you have a common wire. It will work with dual fuel systems, but you still require that common wire or you need that common wire adapter on one side of the system. And it will also work with heat pumps. It also comes with terminals for both single stage and dual stage heating and cooling. So if you have a newer HVAC system with dual stage heating or dual stage cooling, the WISE thermostat will be compatible with your system. But overall, I do like the value proposition of this WISE thermostat. It's been a great little thermostat so far, with the exception of that notification that kept popping up on my Android phone but as soon as I had it on the iPhone and I updated the software, I no longer had the issue on the Android phone. However, it was just frustrating to get that notification. But as far as reliability and being able to use the features, they have all worked great for me and I haven't had any issues. Now, the one other thing to consider when installing the WISE thermostat is that it does require the common wire or common wire adapter. So if you are purchasing this, you just need to know that before you install it and go ahead and check out our install videos. But I will say the WISE thermostat does offer a very compelling value proposition. You get a smart thermostat with most of the same features as premium smart thermostats like the Ecobee and Nest thermostat. However, you get it at half the price. So at this point, the question is, would I trade out my WISE thermostat for the other smart thermostats that I've had installed or used? And the answer to that question is, I don't know yet. I've really been happy with some of the other smart thermostats that I've had installed and I really like the looks of them. The WISE thermostat looks good and it does the same or similar job as some of those other smart thermostats, but I've just had them for so long that I really like them. But where I do see this having a big value is if you don't have a smart thermostat yet and you're looking to get one, this provides a very compelling price point in the majority of the same features as those higher priced smart thermostats. So you get, let's say 95% of the features and functionality at 50% of the cost. And I think that's the really compelling part about the Wise thermostat. If they fix that little software bug for Android, I would have had a really flawless experience and an easy installation experience as well. So thank you for watching this video on my review of the Wise Smart Thermostat. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any of the links below if you want to support us. Thank you.